Yo, good morning, ER bros, and welcome back to the channel. So today we woke up early to be productive. We're gonna go to the gym and then the beach, and at the beach we're gonna be doing a Q&A for you guys. But before we go to that, look what happened last night. Thank you so much. That means halfway to 10,000 subscribers. And if you haven't subscribed already, what are you guys doing? Just hit that subscribe button. Come on, right now. Guys, let's get to 10,000. Let's go. And just like that, guys, make sure you guys are grinding every single day. Let's go, bro. All right, guys, so let's start with the Q&A. No better place to do it than here at the beach. So the first question is, what was your first reptile? My first reptile was my leopard gecko named SpongeBob. He's a super hypotangerine carrot tail, and he's a super giant. So I've had him for about, I would say like four years now, and you know, I love that little leopard gecko. He's, he's getting really fat though, but you know he's one of my first leopard geckos that I ever got before, and first reptile. Okay, on to my next question. It says, uh, what is my favorite reptile that I've owned? Uh, let's see, my favorite reptile would probably be my Oklahoma Eastern Colored Lizard, just because um, the colors on that is so nice. It's a nice blue. And then also I've had him since he was a little baby, so I've been taking care of him for a little while now. All right, next question is, what lizard do you recommend for a beginner? As a beginner reptile, I think a leopard gecko would be the best one just because it's so easy to take care of. All it needs, well, I did a care video on how to take care of for a leopard gecko, so be sure to check that out. But it's not, it's not that um, hard, it's very simple. All you need is a heat pad, paper towel, hot, hot hide, a moist hide, water, water, uh, food, bowl, food bowl, and a calcium dish. And then just feed them, you know, every three days and it should be good. Um, but yeah, just check out the reptile, I mean the leopard gecko care video so you guys can see that. Next question is, how do I handle or tame the geckos? Uh, I'm scared to take them out. Well, first of all, if you don't take them out, they are never going to be tamed. You have to take them out, you know, frequently for them to be tamed and you can't be scared of it. Um, if we're a gecko, I'm not sure what kind of gecko you're talking about, I'm assuming it's a leopard gecko. Um, make sure when you open his tank, not to just hover over him and just quickly grab him. Make sure you should put your your hand down right in front of him so he can know that he's there, that you're there. And then you know, gently pick him up. And then um, if he tries to run, cover his head, and you know, just just uh, look up how to handle them. Basically, it's not that it's not that hard, but uh, obviously don't grab him by the tail because that'll make him lose his tail. But yeah, I would recommend that you keep trying to handle them and if they do bite you it's not gonna hurt it's a leopard gecko um, they think that it hurts that's gonna hurt you but it's not and eventually they'll know that that their defense mechanism I mean them trying to bite you is not gonna do anything okay the next one is how long have you been taking care of reptiles and what are your top three geckos so I've been taking care of reptiles for about I would say like five years now. It's been a while since high school. I believe either my sophomore or junior year. And my top three geckos. Let me think about this one. Well, obviously my leopard geckos. I have like eight of them. So those are probably one of my favorite leopard geckos. Uh, so how about let's put that at number three. And number two would be a giant leaf tail geckos those are really nice i really want one in the future okay and for my first and favorite gecko would be a satanic uh leaf tailed gecko i believe that's what they're called those are like super nice i'll go ahead and put a picture of them so you guys can check it out but 
I really want one of those in the future. I just have to, um, you know, get more space for them, but I really want one of those, so it's definitely coming in the future. All right, let's do one more question for you guys. This one is, where do you, where do you get those short tanks with the sliding lids that you keep your geckos in? And I've been getting this question a lot, like on every, every single video. Uh, these lids, I get them from a reptile island near my home. It's basically um, a half of a 10 gallon tank, it's like half the size. And I feel like they don't really need like the extra, the extra like height for it. So I would recommend, I would recommend you really get those. All right guys, so I found this cave over here. I'm not sure how, whoa, stuff just fell on top of me. But anyways, I'm not sure how far this cave goes, so let's go explore it. It does smell kind of bad over here, and it's kind of dark. I wouldn't be surprised if we see any like homeless guys over here. There's like a bunch of like trash and stuff. How sad. What the heck? Yeah, I just, I just found some homeless guy. Let's go. Oh, hey, Eric. What are you doing over here? Just chilling. Just chilling? Yeah. Enjoying the nice dark rocks? Yeah, that's good view. <laughs> Hey guys, just in case you guys didn't know, this is the other bro and part of the ER Bros channel. His name is Eric. He's not really in the videos as much, but I've been telling him to post more frequently. Uh, he just posted a Florida vlog yesterday, so be sure to check that out, guys. There's crabs right here. Oh, they're running. See, I'm at this too. Oh, yeah. There's one right here. This one right here. Oh, shit. See it? It's right there. Run. Damn, man, you got a tan in Florida, didn't you? Big time. Dude, this guy was like white, like an albino. Mom was like, who are you? Seriously, dude, like you got so tan. Oh, yeah. Are we the same color now? Kind of. Dude, we kind of are. You're kind of like darker than me. <laughs> That's crazy. What the heck? And the reason why he hasn't been posting as much is because he doesn't have any ideas to post, so I need video ideas. ideas. So be sure to give him some ideas because he needs some help. Dude, and how different is the beach here compared to the one in Florida? Oh, this is like crazy, man. Florida's like nice and calm. Some like little waves. Some really? are big, but not really. And there's like a sandbar over there. You can like go out. Uh -huh. It's like shell like your knees. It's crazy. What about the sand? Is it like lighter? Like white sand? Dude, it's like, it's like snow pretty much. Really? Yeah. Damn, you're lucky, dude. I wanted to go. Yeah, man. Let's go. And yeah. what about the water? Is it like really clear or like compared to this one? It's still, you can't go out and you can still see your feet. Really? That's crazy. Damn, dude, lucky. And if you guys want to see that vlog, he just posted it, so go check it out, guys. Go. Give him a chance. <laughs> okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have any other questions for another Q&A, be sure you comment down below. And today's shout out goes to Daniel, Daniel underscore eight underscore 15. If you guys want a shout out, go ahead and go to my last picture on Instagram, comment and follow me for a chance to be shouted out on my next video, guys. And for this channel, I want to start incorporating more vlogs and about my life and stuff, not just reptiles. Reptiles will still be a part of this channel, but not as much, just so it won't be the same thing over and over and over, guys, all right? So until next time, guys, peace.